We've got Byron Donalds Byron coming Donald. up to hit Republican of Florida, and that's Aaron Bean, Republican of Florida, now running for Winstrup at first base. Well, Byron Donalds comes to the plate. For the first time, Florida 19, Southwest Florida, Naples, Fort Myers area. Donald's originally from Brooklyn, played in one game. He was 0 for 1 last year. He's volunteered as a coach in youth football and basketball leagues. It stays away for Padilla. Wonder how long Padilla will be in the game. Deluzio certainly could be an option. He struggled with control, and this is first appearance in the game, and then coming on in relief. Yeah, he started out, had a little more gas there to begin. Swing and a miss from Donalds on a pitch outside. Our Donalds getting a green light on three and zero. Oh. Yeah. And up by 14 runs, John. I'll tell you what. The D comes set. And a swing and a foul to the right side that will find the GOP dugouts. I'm not sure that everybody knew exactly where that was at first. Thought it was drifting maybe into fair territory, John. Tried to make the play. Couldn't quite get there. The count goes to three and two. And I'm not sure that Alex Padilla, the pitcher, called it. You know, a lot of times the pitcher is supposed to call. One or five, two, five. Ball stays to the outside. Ball four. Donalds is aboard. See a little bit of frustration there from the senior senator, senator from California. So first and second. With two outs here in the top of the fifth. <laughs> Now, I'll be the first to admit, I'm not a huge baseball fan. Um, to each his own, you know. Uh, I've got some family that are well invested into baseball, love baseball, played baseball for years, you know, the whole nine. Um, but I've just never been able to get into it too much personally. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we got to talk about we got to talk about uh, the congressional uh, baseball game that happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> because my goodness, man, <laughs> I'm not going to make this one too long. Obviously, this isn't like anything crazy important in terms of politics, but they are politicians, you know, playing in the game. <clears throat> uh, a few interesting things happened, and uh, I'll dive into those right now. All right, let's dive in. Out one ball and two strikes here on uh, Dan Goldman from New York. And a swing and a check out the hat. Miss that will end the inning. The Democrats threaten but do not score. Seven to five. The Republicans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Republicans after three here at Nationals Park. You love to see that. You love to see that. Man. Love that hat. Uh, <clears throat> and you love to see Democrat Dan Goldman um, swinging and missing. Get him on out of there, coach. Get him out of there. Uh, but, of course, you know, the game didn't go without, you know, the old protest, of course. It's Democrats these days. They love protesting about anything and everything. And it continued. We're getting kicked out for disrupting at the congressional uh, baseball game. They didn't want to hear. Like, there's no she kept like pain when children are dying, <laughs> so we're being escorted out as we try to deliver the message to save Gaza's children. They don't like that message. They just want to play ball, but genocide's not a game. <laughs> These folks are just absolutely incredible. 
Oh my goodness. Oh man. Just I've never seen people go so hard for a different country. You know? Like <clears throat> where were all of these folks when Maui burned to the ground and Joe Biden gave them seven hundred dollars? Where were these folks? When all of those images of families out in the ocean to, you know, save their, you know, save themselves from the fire. Like, I couldn't imagine having to go out into the ocean, stand in the ocean water to keep my family safe. And the president gives us $700. Where were all of these protests then? Those kids didn't matter. Your own uh, fellow Americans did not matter. Where were all of these protests when the, um, actually, I think that city is called, uh, hold on, let me make sure I get this name correct, because uh, I don't want to, I, I don't want to mistake it, but I do believe, yeah, so when Palestine, Ohio had chemicals leaching all over the place from the train derailment and people were crying out because they were getting sick them and their children where was this outrage for your own fellow american citizens when flint michigan had that disgusting water and barack obama stood on stage and, 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 and did that, oh, let me, let, me get a, let me get a cup of water. No, 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 that's fine, that's fine. And he literally just, he didn't even drink it. Didn't even drink, the, 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 the water level in the cup did not change. Where was the outrage? Like, it, it, it amazes me. It, it, it amazes me what these folks would do, man. And of course, you know, the climate, the the climate change activists couldn't be outdone. Of course, they had to show up too. I'm not gonna play the whole thing because yeah, some people get tackled and, and, and slammed and YouTube probably ain't gonna like that clip too much. Um, <laughs> but of course, uh, this is how the mainstream media talked about that situation, which I didn't see a whole lot of coverage from mainstream media on the congressional baseball game, which I found just a tiny bit interesting, but here's one clip. Several protesters were arrested last night after running onto the field during the congressional baseball game in Washington, D.C. This happened during the second inning in Nationals Park. Capitol Police officers tackled the guys, took eight protesters into custody. Uh, the group wore T-shirts that read, End Fossil Fuels. The annual charity baseball game features Democrats and Republicans from the House and Senate. So, yeah, that was almost all of the coverage that I saw on that baseball game. You know, I wonder if it had something to do with how badly Republicans beat the crap out of Democrats. Literally, it was 31 to 11. <laughs> like, how do you get beat that badly? It's It was 31. Here, let me see. And even in that first clip that I showed you guys with Byron, if you look at the bottom of the screen, it's 19 to 5 at that point. <laughs> 31 to 11. <laughs> like I said before, I'm no baseball connoisseur, but have you guys ever seen a score like that? Maybe you have, you know. Maybe that is a thing. In base. I personally never heard of a score, you know, from time to time, especially when I used to watch like ESPN or Sports Center, which I don't anymore. I, couldn't, I honestly couldn't even tell you the last time I sat down and intentionally watched Sports Center or ESPN or something like that. Uh, but is, is, is that a thing? Like 31 runs? I'm used to seeing like low scores in baseball, you know, five to seven. Or something like that, you know? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. For the, for the people that are a lot more educated than I am uh, when it comes to baseball, uh, let me know. But, of course, it was good to see, you know, Republicans win. 
of course, you know, we we just that's what we do. We we take W's, no L's, no losses, never loss. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, y'all let me know your thoughts, your opinions on this in the comment section below. I just thought it was a little hilarious how they got blown out <laughs> like that. Oh, my goodness. Peace and love. I'm out.